Hello everyone and welcome to another stream. My name is Hubert and well today we're gonna do something uh, we haven't done before at least on this channel. Uh, to give it some context in like 2017-2018 I was doing some random development streams pretty much daily when I was just you know, randomly <laughs> doing something in Unity with the game, and well, this is how the game actually, how the project began. It was a uh, project for my that I did with my viewers on my YouTube channel, and today this is some sort of an experiment. I'm not sure if that's something we want to get back into, but I wanted to make at least one stream. It was like a spontaneous idea, quickly conducted marketing. They were okay with it, and I wanted to to to, to see if that's something uh, that's gonna click. <laughs> if that's something we want to have uh, in the future. No, no more longer hair? I still have my hair, it, uh, they're just in a ponytail. I actually realized yesterday that when I put my hair in a ponytail uh, and, well, put my headphones on, I look like I have my old haircut. <laughs> but yeah. So hello everyone once again, and well, just to... Uh, but a fair warning, I suppose. Uh, this is going to be a highly technical stream. Uh, it's primarily targeted for I know, programmers, other programmers, or maybe people who want to see how game development works uh, behind the curtain. But it's certainly not something that everyone <laughs> is going to enjoy, since it's going to be a very long stream with fairly little features uh, that are actually like presented or progressed. Uh, there are obviously going to be a few smaller uh, things that I'm about to reveal that haven't been revealed before. These are rather small details and they're not like super excited, so I'm not trying to, to say that only to... I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to oversell <laughs> this stream right now. I'm just saying it's totally fine if you find this stream boring. This is... We, we'll be doing regular streams as well. Uh, again, this is some sort of an experiment that I wanted to try. I won't be sad even if there is only like 10 people remaining after an hour or something. <laughs> That's totally fine. I saw source code Pog. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I'll be showing the source code. It's not going to show any <laughs> security systems, but the front end stuff, which is actually found after recompiling the game, which isn't uh, too much of a security risk. Let Narler out of your basement. We haven't spoke to Narler in a while. Uh, most of the Cassie messages that have been added over the course of the past updates were just remixes of existing sounds, because when you have like a solid database of, of sounds, you can just combine them together uh, in order to create new words. Uh, I may show you that later, but for now I wanted to show you what I have been working on and what we'll be working on today. So. <clears throat> For those who are not aware, we are uh, currently doing something called CCM Refactor, which effectively means that we are reworking pretty much the biggest system in the game, rewriting it from pretty much scratch. And uh, what that means is that every single role needs to be re-implemented. On the previous stream, I have already shown what's the status of the, uh, of the CCM Refactor, and back then we only had like the tutorial role with nothing else. Uh, since that stream there were a few other changes, voice chat has been re-added, 173 has been re-implemented. Um, many of the STPs that we are about to, to add are gonna have something called a soft rework. Soft rework meaning that the, that the STPs will look the same, it will effectively keep the core mechanics, but it will be reworked mechanically um, in a way that different abilities will be changed, different details will be improved. Is it fine if I show it? Because technically it's part of a Patreon post that we posted like a few days ago. So I'm not sure if that's something we want to show. Uh, Lion, if you're here, let me know if like, I can show some of the 173 changes. Actually, I can't any anywhere. Well, I can just explain to you that... Uh, there are like, oh, you can immediately see the, the Hume Shield changes. But uh, as we are rewriting those classes, there is no reason not to improve already existing features, and that's essentially what's been happening over the course of a few months. For now, we have SCP-173, the tutorial or human classes, I mean, they're not activated right now, but they will work just as well as the tutorial. There is the voice chat working correctly. I can, oh, I'm gonna show something. I can actually hear myself on the radio when I speak. You can hear it here. That's this minor thing, but there are also a few other uh, stuff. For more details, you can um, see our Patreon post. There's a lot of exciting features in regards to that. I'm only going to sh show a few ones. Um, for example, the 173 roll. I'm not sure if I can actually 
let me disable the script. So, um, when I'm being looked at, I can teleport normally. When I activate my ability, you can see it becomes uh, more like... Uh, what's the word for that? Like etheric? Etheric? Whatever. Like, it's... It's... Oh, Oh yeah, no, never mind. I, my ability got, uh, got disabled because of I was looking, I was being looked at. But yeah, um, so this is essentially what what it is. It just indicates that uh, I am not able to kill anyone because it is uh, the the, the breakneck speed ability is active, opaque, more actually like transparent. <laughs> but yeah, if if I were within a kill range of another person, this uh, teleporter, <laughs> this this thingy, would change its color. I'm not sure if I can trigger it manually, I can. Here, so it would change color to slightly more oranges, it would be much brighter. Uh, I think I can show you that here. So this is the regular one, and this is the kill one so you can see it has a slightly slight color change which indicates if you're within the kill range because i know that sometimes people want to like teleport very close to the player but not actually kill them they just want to scare them away so this is a few a small improvement there are also like other improvements in regards to teleporting on slopes I'm not sure if that was possible in a uh, previous version but now you can teleport say on here over on the on the handrail or whatever you want to call it you can also teleport onto slopes Previously, you only could teleport onto uh, flat surfaces, and yeah, things like that have effectively been changed. Uh, small improvements, not no major reworks, uh, and the same rule applies to SCP-079, which I have been working on recently, and which I would like to continue with you. So this is how the new interface looks like. Right now, there's only one camera. Uh, there is no teleportation, as you can see here. The the text is actually fake. It's like hard coded right now. You, you can't really. It doesn't change if I teleport to another room, even though there is no room. There's no map that I can open, so that text is a lie. The the SCP-079 is being pretty much rewritten, and as you can hear, probably in the background. There is now sounds when the camera moves, um, and I can also zoom in and out. And different cameras will have different noises, different zoom settings. Um, kind of going ahead of myself, but yeah. Uh, what we gotta do right now? Uh, what, what did I stop on? I, I stopped. The last thing I did was changing, uh, making the access tier bar uh, being updated. So when I uh, I actually added a command called SCP or uh, add 079 XP uh, and when I say like 50 you can see that the slider updates I'm gonna make it quieter and then when I get 100 it resets to 0 and I have access tier 1 previously it was 0 so that's small bug fix that I need to change because computers generally count from 0 and uh, this is what it displays over here. In order to make it more uh, human readable, uh, we need to simply add one, which is something that we'll fix in just a second. Non-character class management part of CCM has not been touched, so it's still the same, it's backend, so go better them. I'm development, I am I'm gameplay programmer, I'm focusing on what's accessible to players. So there is a script here called tier GUI, graphic user interface, and this is the script that controls uh, displaying the current level. And we have the access tier here, um, and we just need to change the index to um, level. There it is. I already made this property before. It's, it essentially just returns uh, the current index plus one, which works for our application. And yeah, and that should fix it. Uh, I'm not, normally I wouldn't even check it, but I just wanted to show you <laughs> that it works. Uh, but it is gonna work. So now you can see we have access tier one, which is uh, good. And when I do add 079 XP, uh, 150 for example, then you can see 
access tier 2 and we have 50 XP onto that because 100 was consumed on leveling up. Now you can see that the auxiliary power is uh, stuck at a 80 out of 100 that's because it's a fake, it's a placeholder, it doesn't uh, work at all right now and when I go to 079 and there's already an aux manager, the auxiliary power, you can see it goes to 100 and is it supposed to stay at 100 or continue growing? Oh yeah, I'm level 2, so it stays at 110. So this is working fine, we just need to make it display at the value. And when I level up, there we go, I'm level 3 now. And it keeps growing uh, until it reaches 125, perfect. When I go to uh, maximum tier 5, you can see it regenerates much faster because the speed is faster and the aux is gonna stop at 200. So everything is working perfectly. I'm not sure if it synchronizes correctly, but at least server-side mechanics are uh, working correctly. Mana, yeah, I mean, pretty sure it's still described as mana in the... Yeah, something like mana. I, I <laughs> made a documentation. Alright, so... This seems to be okay. That's some documentation. And then now all we have to do is just well, copy one of those scripts and make it work, make it display the auxiliary power. There are a few interesting features um, that I wanted to implement, but uh, for now let's just focus on the basic stuff. Zoom tier, let's, let's duplicate the 079 tier because it's actually going to be a similar script. I'm not sure if I, since there's only two bars, there's no point because it's going to be a completely different thing. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna rename it to uh, AUX. Oh, I can see already that people are arguing about programming stuff. That's perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to see some programmers. I wanted to see programmers trying to argue about which programming language is best because the winner is clearly C sharp only because I'm used to it. Are you gonna add in-game keyboard binding for 12.0? There's already this. Oh, in-game keyboard. Um, I don't know. It was one of the plans. I'm not sure if it's still, if we're gonna have time for that, but if not 12.0 then probably like 12.0. 1 or 2 or maybe 13.0, we'll see. Uh, is it working now? It's not because I forgot to set it up. Alright, so let's give our mana slider. We'll put it here. Ox Y. Uh, sounds weird when I say it actually. So that the inverted text and our image, which I suppose is this. I hope it's this, is it? It is. The project is getting big and most of that is unused content. Like we, we need, we're gonna do the CCM refactor first because that's a big system. And once this is finished, we're gonna have a lot of unused assets that we could strip. Oh, that is... Okay, yeah. So we forgot to... Well, I forgot to put a rounding on it. Or more like a flooring on it. But it seems to be working. So... Not sure if I noticed, but it looks like when I go to spectator, it keeps growing. So I'm gonna wait here for a while and see if it keeps growing. No, it doesn't. Alright, that's fine. Well, that seems to be working and I'm not sure why the slider is actually so uh, large. Oh, it's because I'm not updating the slider yet. Okay, that would make sense. Nice, seems to be working. Alright, and at the max level, you can see that the regeneration is quite fast. No too much. Uh, this is not a teaser, by the way. This is just, this has been in the game like that for a while. Uh, it's a placeholder. In this SCP, it's not getting at it. Even if, the, if it was, that would be weird. So, what is next? Because honestly, I feel like I implemented everything <laughs> that I that I can for one camera. Right now, we are talking about things... Oh, I know, logging. Logging should be a thing. I want to have a nice uh, information when I'm getting XP and auxiliary power and a new level or whatever. And it would be nice to have some kind of sound for it. 
to give players more hints that it's go that it's that something is happening. I imagine that there's gonna be like a little command prompt. There's going to be a typing animation, and I'm still not sure how I want to handle it exactly. All right, I think I do know how to do it. So. There's actually a few features that we do want to include in that patch to uh, improve communication for people with no microphone. Most notably a pinging system. So 079 can just like ping a location, same way you can do it in, I don't know, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Yeah, that is something that we want to do for 079 as well. However, it is a stretch goal, so I'm not, I can't tell that this is something that we will have like, we don't have a working prototype, so it's not. I'm not sure if that's something I'll be able to implement. The way I want to do it is I want to have a pool of notifications. And I should probably create a custom pool, because this whole system is already in a pool, isn't it? I'm thinking, let's just begin with creating a new script. That should be working now. There's no fade out for now, so when I spawn a text it will just uh, remain here in indefinitely. I'm not sure that's something we want to do right now. I feel like, like it's time to just test if it works. I mean I still need to figure out a way to spawn this uh, system, but it shouldn't be a big deal. If we fail to enqueue the text, mm, then we need to create a new one. the template one moment that should be working now let's get it let's give it a way to actually test it and for now let's just do i'm gonna copy one of the random messages from chat congrats modded pc player one your comment is now being added as a debug uh, so the thing is obviously part of the refactorization is not actually optimization it's mostly like programmers um convenience because what we're doing right now it really doesn't matter if we're using like a redundant substring or whatever like this the the string processing of something that's only going to happen once at the at one time it's really not that much of a performance saving and this is making for an overall more clean code which can be then edited by other programmers so like any programmer can look at this code and it has like 40 lines of code and it can be easily understood what's going on here uh no notification <laughs> i would like to say uh, no documentation required but it's only because i didn't put it yet here it is going to have documentation and yeah well there is no point in trying to optimize things that are only making a difference if you're making like a super calculator or whatever. Yeah, but it's better for later updates, yeah. Other programmers can simply... Um, yeah, we're not trying to make optimal code, because even if we had perfectly optimal code and get the game running 10 times faster, uh, the execution time of code, then we still have 80% of the execution time of the frame time, or even 90% is rendering. So, like, even if we made a super optimized code that takes zero milliseconds to execute, we're still only going to get about 20% more FPS. And it's at this point just easier to give up on, <laughs> on that idea and simply continue making code that is more readable than perfectly optimized, because, again, perfect optimization of code is not really making much of a difference. It's more about avoiding spaghetti code instead of 
uh, making code that is most optimal. 20% is a lot. Oh, it certainly is a lot. Except that 20%, like, it's actually not in uh, string calculations or anything like that. It's things about, like, physics calculations or raycasting, like, detecting different kinds of uh, collisions, trying to look if something is gonna fit or not. Phys uh, like, string operations in the entire game is maybe like a. I don't know. <laughs> it's less than. 0.1%. Most of the uh, mo most of that 20% is actually things like physics, audio, distance calculations, things that can't really be optimized because we're talking about squared root uh, operations. And again, like even if we perfectly optimize it, then I don't think we would get it lower to, uh, lower than like 15%, maybe 18% more more uh, realistically. So we're only talking about like 2% gain for making the game more difficult for programmers to develop. If you guys try to update the project to a newer Unity, that is actually something that we are actively doing. We're going to switch to uh, 2020 or 2021 Unity. I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure 2021. Okay, so this seems to be working. Uh, let's see the text. Yo, it worked! I got an exception, I'm not sure what happens here. Oh. Nice! Looks good. We need to make it a bit faster. And probably add a little sound to play with it, with that. Alright, I need messages in the chat. <laughs> um, let's get one longer one to see how it looks. Perfect. Yeah, that looks good, honestly. I feel like it's pretty cool. Yep, looks pretty cool. Uh, now we're gonna make it um, like the fade out over time. Yo, is it gonna fade out? Yes, it is. Damn, it's looking good. Oh, where is it? Oh, I can immediately tell that things that are pulled are not getting spawned in. See, I need to press. I need to press uh, J's enough to overload the. Uh, pool because for whatever reason it's not being set up okay and now it's disabled let's see it again oh, uh, right so the text needs to be reset that's for sure uh, let's clear the, clear the text because that's important I need to make sure that the objects get instantiated uh, as the last child. So, transform set. Oh, yeah, set as last sibling. Oh, that's not bad. So there is a method for that. That's 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 good. Okay, please tell me it's gonna work now. We did quite a lot of progress, at least so far, and I think we could uh, use that fact and continue doing it. Are you ever going to feed me in your basement when you get a chance? Sure thing. When I get the chance. I hardly ever get a chance, but if I do, I promise. If Lisp gets fed, I want food too. I'm sorry, we only have enough food for one, maybe two people. One of them is me. <laughs> 
Oh, I, I know what to do. There is the command, and there's actually a glitch in that command that we should fix first. Uh, the command that I was showing at the beginning that allows me to add XP. Uh, it currently shows a debug message in the game console. But now we can finally move it onto the proper system. So when I first start, activate it, disable my console, set myself as 079 and use the command at 079 XP. And let's do 50. Then it just says 255 unknown. And what does that code mean? Could, when I put it like 3, it still shows the same. 255 unknown. The heck is that, right? Well, it is the add XP command here. There's a bug where it stays static for like a full minute. Yeah, it's gonna be fixed. Like, it's a, the whole code is being refactored, so... You can safely assume that every single bug that is currently happening with 079 will be gone, but we're gonna replace it with an equal amount of different bugs. <laughs> so, yeah, don't, don't worry about bugs that are caused by... Well, bugs. <laughs> because it's gonna be changed. If we worked. We're gonna get a whole bunch of fresh bugs for you to enjoy. Um, set 079, well, add 079 XP, 50. Boom! Plus 50 XP admin command, so that is working. Now we just need to make it uh, show up in the notification manager. So is it working now when I do add 079 XP, 50? There we go, plus 50 XP admin command. Perfect. There we go, a working notification system. Done for 079 moving, oh yeah. Uh, I mean, I could show you how it looks from the third person perspective, assuming that my build is not old enough to cause any uh, complications. This is what it looks like. Seems pretty cool. <gasps> Stays alive! No! I left, I just found a bug! <laughs> when 079 leaves the game, the camera stays on, but why? Actually, it shouldn't. I'll figure it later. But it's good thing to know. That we have found a relatively game, potentially game-breaking bug, because the, the, the camera staying active is just one example. But I'm not sure what happens if, like, I don't know, people who lo who've been looking at 173 disconnect, maybe 173 will still remain observed because the person, you know, like this is something like relatively uh, not harmful, but it's potentially harmful, uh, all things considered. I mean, ideally the the role should reset itself. Uh, I feel like we have completed pretty much everything. The notification system is working quite well. Am I missing something that I Forget about something that we could do for now with, that wouldn't require us to add an extra camera because we have the notification system, we have the... Yeah, it appears we have everything for now. Have I tried Vider instead of Visual Studio? I generally like Visual Studio, I, I don't really have a reason to change it. I'll take a look, I'm not sure if Rider is... Uh, I, I heard that Rider is relatively expensive. How much of 12.0 is done? It's hard to estimate. The human, like, right now the biggest problem is uh, re-implementing all the SCPs. So we have 079, 939, 049, uh, and 096. I can't really tell how much, but at least several more months. So, there is that. We will be showing some teasers in regards to uh, one of the biggest features for 12.0, because it's not just refactoring, there is actually some, some actual exciting features coming up rather than simple improvements, but what it is and uh, well, all the details we'll provide later. Are voice refactor done? Are you mean the voice chat? Um, it is currently being worked on. Uh, the voice chat is currently working for humans and radios. It's uh, There's no voice chat, like there's no intercom and no dead chat. Thank God no spectator chat. Well, you can mute spectator chat from the game. How about elevators? Well, no changes, still works perfectly. <laughs> New strat, drop a radio in a random spot in the room where it can't be seen easily, wait for SCPs to enter the room, play loud as music. Exactly. Uh, will player models have slight change or stay the same? They have slightly different animations. The character, the new character models are still being worked on and it's definitely not getting added anytime. How extendable is the new CCM system? I'm making my own custom classes API with Harmony 
Uh, but 12.0 will definitely break the whole thing. Oh yeah, 12.0 is certainly breaking everything. There is so much... Uh, there's one thing that we did in 12.0, it's metrification. So any kind of distance measurements or anything like that, this is all gone. The hube is no longer hube. Uh, because if you don't know, uh, classes in-game are... Well, I'm talking to plugin devs right now, you, you probably don't know. But if you're a plugin dev and you don't know that human height is 2.5 units in unity we call those units cubes we scale it down to the point where it's 1.8 so it's like an average human size uh, and yeah so uh if you have any plugins that include any sort of distance measurements or if you do anything with primitives we're gonna have to rescale it accordingly so yeah no more cube the dev of you are the team classes gonna be a thing in vanilla or just a plugin thing so uh, I'm not sure if that's the thing, but uh, if we're gonna end up doing it, so no promises. But we probably will have some sort of um, custom human role where you can put your own name and set it its own color. And that color is probably even going to affect the appearance of the class, so you can change the tint of the color, the, the, the albedo of, of the model. Patron beta in summer. Uh, can't tell. Adding the SCPs themselves will at least take two months. Plus there's gonna be maybe a few more months of re-implementing the other stuff. So certainly not go coming out this summer. Once it does come out, the game will be completely different. So <laughs> feel free to take a break and wait for new content. Well, in the meanwhile, we're actually working on a smaller balance patch with shotgun changes. And it's gonna be added, well, within a month. I know that 173 took me much longer than I thought, but voice chat took me literally like three days when I thought it's gonna take an entire month. So many things here uh, are coming slower while we expected them to go fast, and there are many things that go fast despite them going slower. 079 is roughly going according to plan right now. I've been working on it since the uh, beginning of this week. Well, the basic stuff is already done and I, it's just about making the cameras now and implementing the abilities okay uh last question how many legendaries do you have in clash royale okay that, that's the real question can i be in the game no lisp all right that was the last question thank you everyone for watching uh it was uh really nice and i'm actually surprised by how many people <laughs> watched it I, I, I seriously assume that <laughs> when i make this stream only like 20 people are gonna watch it because it's like again very technical for nerds by a nerd <laughs> so thank you for staying with, uh, with me <laughs> and see you another time bye